And cake, you can't cut no cake like you big man. You have to wait till grandma come home. <laughs> oh yeah. So you still have people that don't even speak Spanish? Don't speak Spanish at all. We use it as a lap with these shit, right? Really? <laughs> Just put this in the time. Well, it's heading right away. Let me get a little bit more of that. I love it. What it is essentially is I grew up actually right adjacent to here. They lost their language. Because every week they were taking away the life of somebody. They were yeah. killing someone. So definitely this was one of the most dangerous spots before. What's going on guys? I'm here in Honduras Royal Tongue Island. Sorry if I say that name wrong. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna be just exploring this uh, beautiful island so far. This is, uh, seems to be a beautiful place. Currently, I'm staying in one of their party zone area. I wanted to stay in this area just in case, you know, it gets down and I can record it. But today, we are going to be having a uh, interesting perspective of the island. One of you guys contacted me and uh, offered to show me around town. And so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna see parts of this island from a local um, point of view and he's gonna explain everything. So I can't wait for him to come through and show us more of this seems to be interesting island. So far in this area, I can't remember, it's called West, uh, West End. Yeah, it's called West End. There seems to be a lot more tourism here. And uh, obviously, um, here's one of their beach beaches it's not the most popular but it is cool and um yeah relaxing and the water seems to be very uh beautiful let's uh look at the water one more time yeah look how clear that water is right there super clear yeah i wouldn't mind um hanging out here if you're if you're a couple this is a cool place to check out all right let's see what's up with this island all right here we go, here we go. <laughs> Here's my right right here, meet Julio. He's a native. Up, he's from here and uh, he's gonna be showing us around. All right, cool, cool. Yeah, if you are coming here, I'm gonna put his information in the description so he can um, help show you around town and give you all the lowdown of uh, what you need to do when you come in. All right. All right, so where are we right now? This area this right here? West End. Okay. This is, you can say like the Suena Viva. You know the live song. This is where the club's at. Right. You got a lot of activities here. Right, right, right. You no know, diving, snorkeling, parasailing. But if you if you're coming to party, this is the this area. This is the area. This is the spot for partying. So how many clubs are over here? It's like five clubs in total. I showed you last night the main ones. We you know, he, he, we're gonna we're gonna look at them again. Don't sure. worry, guys. So just Those in case. Those are the ones that you know that for sure get really good, they be popping. Right now we're headed to Flowers Bay. That's a all black community. And we're gonna end up downtown, show you a little bit of history. Um, like, mostly this is just, you know, like, like high road, you know, the highway. This is like main road right here. Right, 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 right. What, so, what does that mean, main road? This is like what you guys call highway. Oh, the highway. The highway, the all right. main road. Okay. This road leads to all the way to the end because all the streets here connect they all end up at the same spot man you guys check out the beautiful <laughs> scenery here so much trees in the in the area how much yeah, is it to own a private home here um it, it varies you know they got different prices in dollars there's like maybe eighteen thousand dollars you know twenty thousand get out of here yeah, yeah it's not that expensive like a, i could purchase a home you for 20 grand yeah you can purchase a home for 20 grand and it's a uh, residential private well, private security and everything 20 grand or yeah. 200,000 no nah, 20 grand oh 20 no 20 grand for sure no we got to see a home man i might yeah. buy me something yeah. here, man. Like, see like, some like, <laughs> you don't see no signs here right but most of these lands are on sale okay and the property yeah, the is property, going for like 20 grand but not no, a home no 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 i'm talking about like condominiums oh okay okay yeah. And they got like homes also around that price. They don't go for much. Wow. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Don't, you know, you could have a bunch of people come up to this island trying to buy some property if this. That's, that's why that's I case. was telling you last night that right. some people that only visit us, they end up coming back to buy, you know, purchase a home and stay here living. Okay. Some of them settle down here and they start their business 
you know like most of the business in western are owned by americans and foreigners okay you got like french people you got a lot a lot of foreigners like mexicans most of the dive shops are foreigners owned it's a few that are local owned we just passed that home on the corner how much right. do you think that home cost it's like 20 30 thousand for the property yeah because when you convert it to our money right you're talking about a lot of money okay the property alone but not for the actual infrastructure you still got a built on top of it right 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 okay but like i said you can also find a home already built for around that price what is this right here this is no regrets this is the local bar right, it's right. A bar and grill you can also have a snack in there but mostly like on friday nights saturday nights they have live music which is called band dance music right that's the local music it's a little bit of a mix of a caribbean music a huh. mix of reggae with calypso and soca and it'll be right here and this right place here. is called in the bottom part um oh on the bottom yeah, part the bottom part it's a open space and they be having a live music there all right and the place is called no regrets no right regrets here right guys here. all right Okay, this is one of the clubs. Right, so we were talking about the government. It was forbidden for the locals to speak their mother language, which is English, right? Why? Because we have a Spanish government. So they, they didn't want speaking uh, a language that they did not understand. And what they used to do, they hide and practice their language without the government knowing. So that's like, in, in this church, they have a, a special book, a small book of English, which was used to taught the small kids English. What's the name of the church, you know? Methodist Church. Is this called Methodist Church? Yeah, Methodist Church. All right. So you still have people that don't even speak Spanish? Don't speak Spanish at all. We have, we have like elders that they stuck to their mother language, which is English, and they do not understand Spanish, and they do not speak a word of Spanish. So even today, you could walk even around and you could find some people that don't most understand. Most of the <laughs> yeah. elders that you see on the street, they do not understand Spanish and they do not speak spanish okay it's full english for them. <laughs> okay guys uh if you can see these houses are built on particular stilts and basically he was saying is the reason why they're built on stilts is to avoid the, the flood right whenever it rains you're right most of the areas here get flooded and so yeah he was saying um that there are homes that are on, that are on the platform when it starts to rain heavy you can see people start to move their stuff higher because they know they're about to get flooded you these get fridges you see there all fridges yeah I see some it's right a way there. of people to collect water or plants so they throw pepper seed whatever kind of seed and they grow them in the, these fridges when they get old and some other per people we use them to collect water when i was growing up as a kid right. my mother used to collect water in these fridges so whenever you got a fridge that stopped working we don't completely throw it away so we use it to collect water this one they got plants right you know? But other people collect water. Just put water whether, in it. Whether pipe water or rainwater. Okay. All right. Yeah, mostly rainwater. Mostly rainwater. Because, like I said, water is a problem here. You guys don't have like a proper sewage. No, we have pump that pump water on the whole island. Right. But mostly, most of the time, they say, "Oh, it's damaged." So we don't really get the water service like that. Right. So we got we got some colonies that. They get water maybe once a month. Some other colonies that get water once a week. And like that, we got we got spots that get water maybe up to two months without water. And when they get the water, it's only like 30 minutes, one hour. Then they cut it off again. This is the government. They have a huge truck that'll right. ride around here and no, drop water. We got pipes running on, on, the, on the ground. Oh, okay, okay. So water, they put it on, but only 30 minutes or an hour. How you know when it's on? You gotta keep, that's why we keep the pipes open. Oh, okay. So whenever you hear the pipe making noise, we know it's water coming on. Wow, wow. So whenever the water is coming, is coming on, you're going to see everybody just running out with buckets. Right. Buckets. So what we do is we got we got bins, like barrels. Right. And we fill them up with water. Oh, just okay. Just to keep water. Right. I've seen something similar to that in Venezuela. Right. Mostly right. Central America countries, that's what we do. Okay. You no, know, mostly like we all have the same problem. Okay. Which is water problem. Okay. In the... 16 17 centuries Roatan was a pirate spot so we got a few names here that are named after some pirates coxon hole which is downtown is named after a pirate named coxon because the bay on downtown area was the spot he used to stash his treasure on we got another area here called dixon's cove 
Dixon was another pirate. Yeah, oh. What are they doing right here? Okay, this is chicken. This is chicken. They selling chicken no, or? No, they going they gonna cook like oh. barbecues. They gonna start doing barbecues like these spots here. Oh, okay. So this guy here, he's a friend of mine. So we're gonna speak with him right now. Okay, cool, cool. cool. So, oh, he's got the barbecue. He's got a barbecue going on. Here. You all know a little bit of history. How you doing, man? All right. right. So I told him that the best part is the local. Yeah, so she is a local. Uh, hello. Hello. Right here. Right. Video and then a cook over there. What 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 you got here right here? That's cake. Cornmeal cake. Cornmeal cake. cake and banana cake. Cornstarch. Cornstarch cake. Who uh who made the cake? Come on and show me the cake, beautiful. I'll show you the cake, but I don't want to be on the video. All right, come on. I don't like <laughs> I don't like cameras. You don't want to be famous, no. all right. All right, we have this beautiful uh, local woman that don't want to be famous. Show me her cake, come on. We have this cornmeal cake. Okay. This cornmeal, this one here is banana. banana Let me try some of the cornmeal. Just a little bit, all right? Okay. So I'm assuming corn. Cornmeal. All right, I can't show you who made this famous cake, but let me see. Wow. <laughs> mm. All right. This is good. This is local oh, you should give me more. She giving me more, she can't show her face, but you yeah, give me more. Want taste. Uh, I want to taste, huh? So it's made with um some corn. Corn, milk. M milk. A little bit of flour. You put nutmeg, butter, ah. sugar, vanilla, and a little bit of salt. Sorry. Man, mm, wow, it's good. It's like a mix of it's like a mix of cornbread on the top, but you can taste the sweet condensity of the milk and um. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This Can is your business. What you got here? We got um cooked food. Mm. We got a pot of bean rice right here. Oh, nice. Then we got some right. Oh. pork ribs. Oh. oh man, I'm in trouble, man. You where you brought me, man? Right to the right spot. Then we got some big feet right here. Oh, you know I love it. What and else you got? We got some subi. Mmm, what's subi? What is that? Like it a goat? No, goat? and a beef. 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 Oh beef. Mm -hmm. Stew beef. Stew oh, beef. stew beef. Okay. What else? That's rice. We got oh. some meatballs. Oh. Man, I want everything. And we got some pork chop. I want everything. <laughs> then we got What's that thing? I'm opening everything. My bad. Excuse me. <laughs> we got barbecue, so we got fried beans here. Mm hmm. We got um, wow. vegetables. Wow, guys. I'm, I'm, <laughs> you know, I'm in, in barbecue trouble. Barbecue sauce. Wow. Love it. We got the potato salad here. Oh, yes, yes. How much I'm um is this local food? This is yeah. what the locals eat. Yeah. I'm surprised you don't have any fish here. We got fish, but we didn't make fish today. Okay, you make okay. Yeah, we have fish every day, but we didn't make any fish. Uh, what do you got it over there? You got some um you barbecue and something? Let me yeah. check out. Okay. Right. We got some good chicken and some good pork chop. Oh guys. Yeah, we do some grilling today. Oh man. Yeah, I'm I'm in trouble here in the island, man. Pork. I want everything. Grill, chicken, <laughs> grill. How much for um some um what is it? This is you work with her? Yeah. So okay, the this is seven dollars. Okay, seven dollars. And Panita, and Panita, man, go give me the good price, man. Give me the good price, man. That, 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 you you giving me tourist price already? No, 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 no. it's one hundred and fifty. One hundred and fifty. One fifty. Yeah, yeah so it, it is seven dollars. Tourists have to pay ten. I pay one uh, 150 in Pinita. Yeah. What I give with 150 in Pinita? In Pinatas? In Pinata. How much is that? Oh, in Pinatas is cheap. In, in Pinatas you find it on the beach. That's like a dollar. How much for the? Uh, I don't have American money. You you no, think I'm a tourist? The, the, bar, the, the grilled the grilled chicken, right? Good pork is 150 in Pura. Okay. That is seven dollars in US. Okay, so 150. Is what they come? What they come with? We got we got potato salad. Right. We got rice and beans. Right. We got some cheese mold. And they come with a, three, or three, three toppings. Three toppings. Whatever you want with it. Uh, the chicken is it ready or not yet? Almost ready. Almost, it's a little bit more, right? Almost ready. Yeah. Almost ready. Almost what time you start um, we cooking? We start at nine o'clock in the morning. All right. And yeah, I'm gonna want to get turn, some food here, man. I'm in trouble, guys. I'm gonna want some food here. <laughs> is this a uh, pepper right here? Oh yeah, pepper sauce. Oh man. What what you got planned, man? I'm hungry now, man. You don't brought me here. You so you I just let them know, know what you job, want. Let them know what you want. <laughs> All right. Uh, and I'm okay. You gotta get cake and you gotta get right. Right. And no, uh, we're yeah, gonna get a little bit because she, uh, she don't let me record her. So. You gotta record me. You'll be gone there. 
and then I'm gonna have um. Let me get uh. Have mom and chicken. Let me get one piece of everything, okay? You want turkey? Yeah, okay. Uh, yes. Yeah, We're gonna get a platter of everything, uh, guys. So uh, I'm gonna try to get as much possible here. Popcorn <laughs> marble. Uh, uh, also a local. All right, this guy ever. All right, all right, all right. Drinking local. So that's uh, a local beer. That's, Imperial. That's the that's what that's everybody one like. Here. One of the local ones. We got Salva Vida. Right. And this is Imperial. Okay, that's the first beer. time I saw Imperial in the in the, in the main line. Everybody right, drinking right. Salva Vida. Yeah. Okay, but that's good too. That's, that's yeah. good. Awesome. Uh, all right, good. All right, cool. All right. So you got that mango over there, huh? We got a lot of mango trees out here. Most most of the houses got um, salt, black pepper, a little bit of cones man. Yeah, Dress it up, yeah. pretty man. Oh, okay. all right, cool. Yeah, right, 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 right. Is this place the main economy here? Tourism or what? Yeah. yeah. Right. Only today you don't have a cruise ship. Yeah. Like every day. Every other day we have a cruise ship. Really? So what happened during the whole 2020? How did the pandemic affected us a lot? It right. affected us a lot because we can say like 95% of the island lives off of tourism. Right. Okay. And you got the other 5% that are sea seafarers, you know, oh. seamen. But mostly. It's all tourism. Are you guys a little big f in fishing here? Yeah, the elders. Right. They dedicated their their life to fishing. What the spot is here? A, a lot of the natives here, you know, we, you know, sometimes have difficulty, uh, you know, making a living. So what we do, you know, we come out and we cook uh, different types of islands food. Right. And and you know, the young lady, she comes out, she cooks it daily. She she has a variety from chicken to I pork. I see you got two plates. Yeah, so, uh, I have two pork. I have a little pork. Uh, Little, little little chicken and this is how they make their living you know every day they they, they, they prepare five six different meals and they just kind of come out here and serve it to whoever you know but um yeah if you have any particular kind of questions you know if you want to what is like the main thing you know in terms of this here that's famous the main okay what are, are, are one of our famous dishes here Particularly if you're having kind of like an event, you know, right. like a, like a wedding or a, bir or a birthday, is arroz con pollo. And what arroz con pollo is, is you cook the chicken um, and you mix it in the rice. Right. And then you serve that with some potato salad or um, you might make some, uh, maybe some cabbage salad kind of like like this right 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 uh, another main dish here and this and anyone who grew up here will know this our, our, our most famous dish here is what we call stew beans and white rice and boiled banana and and, and and anyone who grew up here that's what you grew up eating almost daily and um, and then we we, we uh, stew the chicken uh, so those are those are some of the big uh, dishes here but you speaking really good English man is that the norm in the island no that is actually um, not the norm what it is essentially is I grew up actually right adjacent to here I grew up right here yeah that way uh, no right there Okay. That, that, that is where I grew up. In this neighborhood right here. Uh, uh, right, uh, that, my father's home was there. Yeah. And uh, he had a home that that looked similar to, to that home over there. Yeah, right. And uh, yeah, we left here as, as little kids. I left here at the age of 13, you know, went to the United States, went to work, and retired here about a year ago. Uh, is no place like home? Uh, this, this, is, this is heaven to me, you know. So. <laughs> It's always been a goal to come back home and enjoy the tranquility of this nice jungle area, nice beach area. It's just fantastic here. Yeah, how, is it like this all year round or you know, for the most the, part? The, the, it, it, it typically is. What it is is the, um, the temperature, it doesn't really fluctuate probably no more than five degrees from winter to summer. And um, what it is right now is um, we're, we're, we're approaching the, the, the hot season right uh, but in the winter uh, starting about October through January uh, we just have rain you know where it would rain almost daily and it would rain for uh, and it, it would rain for hours and and uh, but right now we're going through some real hot time and, and the humidity is just unbearable a lot of times so right I, I, I'm looking at you I'm feeling you I, I, you know I, I'm not I, used to the humidity I, here I, I, I'm just I, I deal with the same <laughs> thing bro, you know so, right. yeah uh -huh. all right Man, thank you, man. Appreciate you taking your time, man. Enjoy your food, man, because I'm about to go get some of this plate right here. All right, let me get a plate of everything, sweetie. I can get a plate of everything. Right. All right, we got the rice right here she's starting off with, guys. Not too much rice, you know. I'm on a diet. Right there? Yeah, that's good. You want a little bit? You got to wipe your head off? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
This is a beef. Sit down and wait. Sit down and wait. This is the beef stew right here. Yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Guys, oh, it smells amazing. Mm hmm. Well, are you, uh, where are you from? Are you a part of the Garifa community or no? No, no, we're not on Garifa. No, not here. We just picked that. Yeah, English. I got to ask. I know it's so big. What's up, man? I say every a little piece of everything, right? Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. We go. I'm gonna take care of you. Okay. I'm not gonna make you waste your uh, your food. Right. And one minute, mm -hmm. Oh. All right. So who showed you how to cook like this? My grandma. Your grandma. Mm -hmm. Ooh, she did a wonderful job. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah. Let me get some of that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let me get a little bit more of that. I love it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. No more diet, guys. I knew uh, I was walking into coming here. You want veggies or no? Yeah, we're gonna try. We're gonna try some of that. Yes. Yeah, a little bit of yuca. Yeah, we take a little, just a little bit, just a little bit. He's not ready with his chicken. I would have uh, got some of the chicken. Yeah, but it's okay. Thank you, sweetie. I made it right here. Okay. You want natural juice? Oh, you have natural juice? Oh, yeah, we what got type of natural juice you we have? Got All right. We got some tambran. Okay. Lemonade. And we got some toronja. What everybody likes? The lemonade? Let me get the lemonade. Uh, guys, uh, so if you're wondering who cooked the food, her name is Carol, and she's now giving me authorization to show her face, okay? So. Because she, she wants to make sure she get the credit for this food right here. That's right. <laughs> and then so here we got lemonade right here. She said the, the locals love the lemonade. All right. I'm excited about this food right here. All right. You know, it takes a certain type of cooking to mess up my diet. <laughs> if I see it, like I won't say that, but like, oh, okay, no diet today. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let, let's go guys we try some of this right here Put it, the salad mm. oh. yes guys the potato salad is really good right here the camera keeps overheating and messing up but uh yes this was really good very sweet mm. oh yeah mm. thank you all right now I already bit this because but the camera froze. This is rare, very marinated. Well sauced. Mm. Oh man, nice, nice flavor on it. Nice. Hi. Guys, we're this tree right here is called Noni. Noni. Noni tree? Yeah, Noni tree. And so what do you do with this so tree? When you have a bad headache. Right. You get the leaves. Right. You put it on your head, you put it on your under your hat, and you just put it back on, and it rolls right away. Really? Yeah. See, this is the fruit. This is the noni fruit. Right. Also so, medicine. I've seen that before. Yeah. So what people do with this, they put it in a, in a jar, set it down to steep, and then when the jar, all that juice comes up, they drink it, they go for like diabetes Fermented. and all that stuff. And this, like, you have a, like a sore or something you put on your leg, and if this turn black, black, that means you got a lot of infection. Yeah, all the infection. If it turns black, that yeah, means you have like a cut or something, a sore. Right. So you put it there, and it, it gets black. That's all the infection. Oh, when it, if it gets black. Yeah. So like a headache, you just put this in the hat. It rolls the headache right away. And you feel keep, better? Yeah. Keep it cool down, you know. Right. So the guys, they were telling me how important it is, uh, the culture of going to church here on a Sunday. For most people, um, everybody's off. A lot of people are off on um, Sundays, yeah. and that's mo mostly to go to church. Yeah. And you said something about cake? cake. Yeah, when grandma make bread and cake, you can't cut no cake like you big man. You have to wait till grandma come home or mom cut cake. Then we eat cake. You can't cut cake. And that happens on a Sunday. On a Sunday. Sunday. After yeah. church. After church. <laughs> you cannot cut the cake before that. Oh man. <laughs> 
I tell my kids every day, don't cut the cake. Grandma got to cut the cake. Oh, just wait for her to yeah, do it. You have to wait for her to do it. And then the kids be looking at the yeah, cake, ready yeah, to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> they pop that corn cake or a yuca cake or something yeah. like that. You can't cut the cake. Oh, wow. Guys, I tore it up right here, man. I don't, I didn't play. Tore it all up, man. So you know it's good. All right, guys, the food, all the food came up to 250 uh, Ampernira. I said it wrong. Limpira. 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 250 is like 10 bucks. So I'm gonna give her, you know, a little tippy tip. Um, here you go, I give you double. All right, appreciate it. Thank you. All right, like big man, all right. Hey, bless yeah. All right, brother. We're gonna we're gonna hang out, right? Yes, man. All right. You gonna find us another time? All right. Got... Yeah, see when you over there. Oh, yeah, see. Continue. Okay. <laughs> All right, thank you. Hey, she throw down. She throw down, guys. You come to the island and you don't eat any food from here. That's right. Where we at? Where where we at? Flores Bay. Flores. Flowers Bay. Bay. Flowers Bay. You Flowers Bay. Flowers Bay. You better come down and get some food here or you you wasn't here. Trust me. All right, All sweetie. Right, Bye. You. Bye. All right. Well experience. Man, that was great, man. The food. Yeah, I told you. I told you this was the spot. Yeah, I can't help it. My audience knows. They know like when there's food, right. I'm going to stop and we'll eat and people will be like, I can't. Right. I don't like him eating. Whatever, guys. No, and, I'm and, going to show people how I eat the food. Too. Right. And what you just got is like island food. Right. Island style food. Right. Because we also have the Spanish, you know, on the Spanish side, we got the Spanish food, but it's not as good as the island food. So what we'll do, maybe not today, maybe tomorrow, we'll try some of what, uh, Spanish what food. The, the Spanish For food sure. they got. Okay, For sure. Cool. It's, it's mostly the same as mainland, Pollo Chuco. Okay. You know, this is, um, it's called dirty chicken. Okay. Pollo okay. Chuco, which is fried chicken, with fried banana slices. Oh, okay, I tried and cabbage that. And a little sauce. I yeah, tried that. That's, that. that's like, you know, and we got the pastelitos, which are like like patties. This here is the local court for the kids from this community. Oh, basketball Flowers, court? Yeah, Flowers Bay community. Oh, yeah, that's a that's nice basketball, basketball court. For that's the, nice, bro. For the kids of this community. Wow, right in front of the, 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 the ocean, ocean and nice right. sea breeze. You, breeze. Know, you got a cool breeze. Oh, nice, that's a dope. Local gym right here. Our elder came up with the idea for the kids, you know, keep the kids off the street and off drugs. For yeah. weightlifting? No, nah, boxing. Oh, okay. Yeah, boxing, yeah. Oh, okay. So we went to a, comp a boxing competition in Costa Rica and it was Central America. You got um, boxing here, you got yeah. basketball, you we just showed me. We got volleyball, we got soccer. Biggest thing here is basketball and volleyball. Two, two biggest sport there. In, in this island? Yeah, on the island. What about in the country? In the country, soccer nationwide, is soccer. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Over here is because we got the we got the, a lot of influence from from foreigners. Right. So that's why we adopted baseball, we adopted basketball, and um, volleyball. But mainland, the Spanish people from mainland, so it's only soccer. You might have one or two colleges that they practice basketball, but it's not that big. It's not that big of a deal. Here we got competitions going on in volleyball and basketball and also baseball we got a baseball league here another local house you, you gonna notice that most of the local house don't have fences if you notice it because nobody is gonna take your property like nobody's gonna grab a piece of your property here everybody respects that and it's also because everybody knows each other they so, came you know, up together they race up together so even if you don't have a fence they know that this is your property limit Right. And they're not gonna get in your limit. What about theft? No one breaks into anybody's home? Nah. You go you can have maybe one or two cases of um you know hijackers. They gonna try to rob something from you in the street. But like I said, it's depending on the area and what time you're at that area. Because like in all places you have dangerous areas, you know, in, in all over the world, you're gonna find. Yeah, there's danger, danger everywhere. Exactly. But it depends the time and the area. The way the old house was built. All wood. These are old, the way yeah. some of the older. Old ways. Um, you know, old, old style construction. All wood housing. Wood high, you know? Oh, so, like mid 90s, that's when they started building concrete. 
What what happened at um uh, was it a hurricane or something? Yeah, it was the uh, Mitch. You heard about the Mitch. The okay. hurricane uh, really affected us here. It washed away a lot of homes. Um, the Punta Gorda area. Yeah. It was a disaster off of that side. Um, so after that, a lot of people had to build back their homes. How long did that take? In like getting all the the material to build stuff. Like it took a lot of time, and I'm gonna let you know why. Before, it was all in mainland. Right. So you had to travel to the mainland, purchase the material, and pay a cargo boat to bring it over. Oh. Bring it over to the island so it was more expensive and it took longer. Now we got, you know, like depot places that you can buy material. Okay, make it a little bit more cheaper. Exactly. They're always importing stuff yeah. coming in. Yeah. All right. So we got this gas station, but yeah, this, this is, is a special is, gas station, right? Yeah, this is one of the local gas stations called Petrosun. It's part of the Roatan letters. This is where everybody takes a picture. <laughs> if you're looking for tourists, they're gonna stop right here. Right. Get the picture of the Royal Town right here. So, like, how often do the like cruise ships show up here? Actually, every day except today, late, late Wednesdays. Except Wednesdays, we got cruise ship from Monday to Sunday. Every day on this port here. And so, what happens? The, these guys show up and they go crazy, or what oh, they do? Oh yeah. Okay. So when they get off the ship, they inside the dock. They got like packages you can buy, like like tourist, you know, tourist packages. And you also have the local tour guys, which are outside of the port. And whenever you walk out, they ask you if you want a tour, you know? If you need a tour guide, and they give you a, a local tour. Okay. So this is like downtown area. They take you to Calle Ocho side. This is Back Road. Right. And they bring you up this area here. So you're going to see a lot of these buses here filled with, you know, tourists. They stop here. Everybody gets off. Take a picture here, you know. And then they just drive back down downtown and continue to tour. Auto shop is a clear example. This is basically where people take their motorbikes, cars to get checked up. So whenever you gotta like get some fix, you got an issue with your car, you come to a spot like this. All right. So this one more motorcycle. This is more motorcycle one, but we also have like car ones that are the same. All right. It's the same. It's not like uh, you know. A concrete building, a nice building, not. So we got little shacks like that. Right. These are all local people boats. As you see, no, no engines on them. Right, they local. Paddle. All right. And these are the same little boats that they use to go outside and fishing. Mostly elders, you know. Elders, that's what they do. They fishing in the evenings. So this is the Pensacola community. This is more chill, chill area, vibe. Yeah, calm area. Not much movement on here. This right here is what apartments look like. It's fenced up. Like how many apartments are in this? Um, two. Two? Yeah, yeah, mostly two apartments right there. How maybe much? maybe two in front and two in the back. How much is an apartment here? It variates. It's either $200 a month or $300 a month. Maximum $300 a month. Because when you when you turn it into our money, that's like six thousand in our money, six thousand right. in peers. So do they do they rent out to foreigners or no? Yes, they do. So we got museum here called Port Constellation. There's also a restaurant inside, so you can also go in, you know, have a snack, read a little bit of history because they got like banners and stuff, you know, with a little bit of information in it. And also before this museum here, this was all local houses. And I grew up in one of these houses when I was a kid. So we had a lady in front of us on the other side. Her name, we used to call her Miss Nana. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that was the landlord. Oh, okay. But a really nice, sweet lady, you know. Really nice old sweet lady. And before all of this, it was houses like, you know, the typical island house. Like high houses, wood houses. Let me ask you, uh, so when did it turn into a museum? It's not, it's not too long ago. It's like maybe 10 years ago that they demolished the houses and started building this. Okay. So nice. it, it, ain't, it ain't that long ago. Okay, all right. But when you, when I drive by here or walk by here, they got flashbacks. Okay. And I remember the home. All right, right. I remember where I grew up. All right. Hey, you got these nice uh, 
Yeah. Our homes are here right. on the hill. Home. The ones on the hill, right. mostly foreigners' houses. Okay. You know? So if you see this one here, this is a local house. Right. You see the difference? Yeah. Activities like that. You honking you or? I don't know what's going on. Maybe I left something on the... So, and I tell my wife, I said, I saw that guy all over. So I'm giving him a tour. I'm here now. I'm giving him a tour of Roatan. <laughs> and I'm telling him a little bit of our history. I'm telling him from time that it was only English speaking people here. No exactly, Spanish. Right? No Spanish. I thought we in trouble with the police, man. <laughs> this whole area here, this belongs to my family. Oh, nice. The Watler family. Nice. The graveyard, the, the, the dock here with the dock in. All this, all this whole land here will belong to my family, Watler family. Wow, wow. I, I'm, I'm Watler Ebank. So, I, I'm, you know, but that's, like I say, I, I saw you and I said, I told my wife, I said, I saw that guy in Venezuela, I saw him in Nicaragua, I saw him in Guatemala, I saw him all over the place. Nice. nice. I, I look at you all the time on, on, on YouTube. Well, I want to say thank you for watching me, my brother. <laughs> Let me get out the car, man. <laughs> Excuse you proper. <laughs> All right, man. That's good. <laughs> we was like, what happened? What? No, I, when I look at it, I see, man, I, I see this guy all the way. Nice, nice. <laughs> well, man, it, 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 it's nice seeing you. Nice know, to meet you, man. A beautiful island. All right. Uh, yes, well, it's I, so beautiful. I came here. I just started. I came here yesterday. And he picked me here? up. He picked me up. I'm gonna be here till next Wednesday. What do I need to do here, if you could recommend, if yeah. anything. Man, if you want to, uh, you know, there's the next song, which is, you know, like we have two different, we say, set of black people here. Right. Which means because of. I met, I met some already. <laughs> you know, okay, but you know, they, 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 I mean, they, they, they maintain their language. We, we lost ours. Right, 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 you right, know, right. But then we still is brother. Right, 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 <laughs> right, 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 right. So we just going around and he's showing me all the cool spots here, man. You know, as I was telling you, is what the gentleman told you just now. But you can still, up to now, you can still find some elders that do not speak Spanish at all. Yeah. Only English and do not I'm understand sure, Spanish sure. either. Right. And that is Native Islanders. Right. And do you speak Spanish? Yeah. Okay, awesome, awesome. I speak Spanish. Yeah, man. <laughs> so that's the reason why I was telling you also that they try to make sure that, you know, from small you learn the English and keep your mother tongue. Nice. Yeah, during but, the mother tongue. Exactly. What happened in, in, in the year uh, 1997 exactly. in the country of Honduras, uh, for, we, we asked for a maternity language. And there the president was Roberto Reina. And he, he said, that what you want? Okay, so he make up a draft of a document. He said, okay, here is you. You could teach your maternity language in, in your school. It, it was nine group. It was seven indigenous group and two black group. He said, but okay, where is the money for you to do it with? So, as, we, as I work along with, with the whole group, we, we went to the Corporacion Española. Right. And they gave us a certain amount of money to help us uh, 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 put set up our program together. Well, that's awesome, man. That's awesome yeah. to hear that, man. I was telling you, there was a time where it was forbidden for the people to speak Spanish, I mean English. It, it was forbidden. For it was, but English. We, we still used to have they to go to private that. school, to, to, to the home, people home, right. and, and, and maintain or out, out to the churches. You know? Oh, you remember that as yeah. growing up here? Yeah, sure. Wow, 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 wow. And they fought for that. Wow. Our elders are the ones that fought for that. The we, have our own, we have an organization here that is named uh, NABIPLA, Native Bay Island Professional and Labor Association. Right, right. Uh, we, we fought for, for the right of our black people here with the government and, and, and internationally through the bank, World Bank and so. So we become recognized. We were not recognized. No, we are recognized worldly that, you know, we got a cruise ship coming in here, I mean, every week and, and, and so on. It's a beautiful and, thing, yeah. I, I, mm -hmm. it is, man. <laughs> and I, I do appreciate your visit to our beautiful island. I, I, I've been seeing you and I want the one day if you were to really reach here. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> man, it's so good to meet you, man. It's good to meet the people here, man. Y'all been showing me so much love, man. Come on. All right, nice to meet you, brother. All right. <laughs>
look at the scenery here, man. Everywhere you go is photogenic, right? You see these tall uh, mountainous, these tall hills and these homes on top of these. So look at this, man. That's beautiful right there. Right. Beautiful angle, get and to see a lot. Another, another thing I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let you know. You see the cemetery? Oh, oh wow, I didn't locals. know. Okay, I didn't know that it's was. It's only locals from this community only. Right. So you got Constellation by right. Pensacola, right. Flowers Bay, right. Rabbles Bay. Right. This is their cemetery. Right. Okay. Only locals are buried here. Makes sense. The people over exactly. the neighborhood, right? And you got downtown area. Right. They got their own cemetery also. Right. 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 So each each you know each part that you go, they got their own cemetery. Now we we talked briefly yesterday about um, housing construction. They can't right. build their house too high. No, it's the the limit is three floors only. Okay. Three floors high. And you then not build over three floors because of the, the ground level. You know the sea level. Right. 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 Just to keep it mind, so you're not gonna see these huge, huge tall right. resorts here. Like, what do people do on their free time here? Like, what's the norm? You know, most people go to church. Others, they spend time with the family. Um, they're strongly on the barbecue culture, you know, on weekends. So they gather around, gather the family, you know, have a little barbecue. Right. And. We say, um, what we say is, oh, we're gonna have a, a fried on, which is fried meat, pork meat, with right. fried banana, pickled yeah. onions. And that's what we do on weekends. You have a beer, you serve yourself a plate of fried meat, and you just chill, listen to some music. Some people go to the beach, others fishing. So, you know, that's, that's like, what locals do on weekends. So passing this bridge here, we're in downtown area. Do they have any hotels here or? Yeah, they have a few, few small hotels up. You'll see them. Another barber shop yeah, right here, guys. Shop. So right now we're in Coxon Hall, downtown area. All right. So most, most here you won't see like a lot of little stores, shops and stuff like that, you know? All right. It's a local bat shop. So you see the difference. The That's a, a local what? Bat shop. Bet shop? Bet shop. Bet, bet, oh, bet, oh, okay. Bet. All right. Yeah. You mentioned this is the barbershop you this go is the to. The barbershop I go to is a local barbershop. It's a black owned barbershop. Okay, cool, cool, cool. You see all these clothes outside? Right. These are all Spanish owned business. Okay. I mean, a lot of people operating from their homes, right? Yeah, yeah. And creating business. So Definitely. I'm, I'm assuming Definitely. this is supposed to also be. Like, fueled by tourism, people right, coming right. in. Mo most of the people dedicate themselves to tourism only. Right. You know, like a lot of tour companies operating here, a lot of independent tour guys. Right. So that's like most most of the what moves the, the business here is, is tourism only. This right here was one of the first public schools right. on the island. It was originally called John Brooks, because that's the name of the, of the guy that you know founded the school. Okay. John. John Brooks. All right. When the Spanish people arrived now, they started calling it Juan. Juan for John. Spanish. Right. Yeah, yeah. So they switched the name, changed the name, and started calling it Juan now. Juan Bo Brooks. Bro it's John, John Brooks. Brooks. Juan Brooks. Yeah, hey, John Brooks. Yeah, <laughs> one of the first public schools on the island. All right, so you got, you got some interesting um, pictures, some of the important figureheads. So if you see the paintings, it's always like medieval stuff. On the oh yeah, I see it over there in the, in the courtyard. There's some yeah. um, medieval paintings yeah, over there. Yeah, like Spanish came over here. They say they conquered us, right? But originally, the Roatan, the whole Bay Island, right, to the British. Okay. It was a British colony, so that can show you why the English. Okay. Because we belong to the British before. So yeah, this kind of like other islands I've been to. Right. You got um in um. Even in Colombia, right. you got uh, uh, Provinciales, you got, uh, exactly. and you go to uh, Corn Island, you right. see the same thing. Exactly. So, what the British did with the Honduras government, they right. tried to deal. Okay. They say, we're going to give you back Bay Islands, but they cannot let independ themselves. So, the Bay Islands cannot be independent from Honduras. Okay. So, the main deal was. It can always be belong to you guys. It can always belong to Honduras. So okay. Even if 
Amelia wants to break free in no way. Cannot. This is part of the deal. So this is the park. All right, cool. Oh, nice park in front of the oh some beach. Park, we got some statues of some heroes, and we also got some cannons. And you got this church here too. Yeah, this is the Baptist church. Nice. Oh, Baptist church right here. So people will come here and people enjoy. Come here and, um, before they had Wi-Fi. Right. But they don't have the Wi-Fi service no more. But some people come here to charge the phones. Okay. Uh, and others just come to chill. Oh, there's like outlets here to charge your phone. Right. I can see why people would come here. You got the nice air breeze coming. All right. There you go. Nice sign here. Oh. You got some statues here. This is a spot where we had one of the cannons. Ah. Sadly, they've been stolen. Some been lost during the, the years, you know. But we had some original cannons here. If I'm not mistaken, we have one in the back. Okay. So, there's a building over there that was the old municipal building. Right. They changed the building, they moved, moved out. Now it's a, it's a government institution where they, they show you like mechanics, they show you like sewing stuff, and oh, it's they, all for free. They cheat you trade over right. there. Right, and it, it's all for free. Okay. So you can see this is abandoned, you know. It's really in poor condition. Yeah, But this, this is dark. Before, there was a bridge, a big bridge, a long bridge all the way out. All the way outside. Where, from here? Yeah, from here, all the way out. A big bridge, a long bridge. I'm talking about early, mid 90s. These were all government offices, right here. Right. Like the courthouse and all that. Cause this was the main, main, you know, this downtown. Right. They, all these buildings moved out of here. Now they're on, you know, bigger buildings on the other sides. So at lunchtime, this was packed with workers. Everybody having lunch on the bridge. The breeze, you know, it right, right, down. right, right. So definitely, this this was the spot for them to eat. Um, that's a key. Yeah, they I have, see it. They have um like sea lions there. They have like sharks, dolphins. They'll they'll pull up over yeah, there. Yeah. They they can they do like a show there, a special show. Um, they swim with dolphins. So it's, it's really nice. They got like Mayan construction there. You know, Mayan statues and stuff. Wow. On the whole, they got jaguars. They got a lot of animals. There. Yeah, I see like there's like a resort there or something like I see beach chairs. Uh -oh. Yeah, yeah, it's, it belongs to one to one of the resorts, one of the biggest resorts here on the island, wow. Anthony Ski Resort. Whoa. Say that again? Anthony Ski Resort. Oh, wow. That's where they do the dolphin diving, dolphin encounter. But that's not the best resort. What's the best that's, resort? That's one of the best resorts. Okay. In your opinion, what is the best resort? Not, not because I worked there, not because I worked there, but to me, that's the best resort we got here. They have the whole package included. Diving, snorkeling, diving with dolphins, diving with sharks, swimming with the dolphins, dolphin encounters. So to me, that's like the most complete. They give resort. you all of that exactly. when you stay there. It's right there. You, you stay there and you get all of those activities. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not like, okay, I'm staying here, but I got to go over there to do this activity, to do that activity, you know? All right, right, right. You got it all in one place. So this was the old municipal building right here. Okay. Now it's an institution where they teach you professions. What's the requirement? You just have to be a certain age? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you gotta be older than 21. Okay. So you go there, you sign up, and you start whatever course you want to do. Alright. They give you a diploma at the end of the course, which values in the whole nationwide. Nice. It's one of the first hospitals we had. Alright. <laughs> oh, you know, making me know you want them. They didn't have none. I was, oh, I was right, right, there, him, right by the dock. I was talking to him about Tapado, you know, iguana, uh, all this. this so, kind of so iguana is a really good, strong dish here. Yeah, iguana was just, uh, is, uh, we we use it as an apple dish, right? Really? Apple dish. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to try some iguana, uh, iguana later on, guys. <laughs> you know where that? Right alongside of, uh, of King Kong, the other, right, the right, other, right, other yeah, canopy. Yeah, right, right, the other canopy. Yeah, right, 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 right there. So. Being that he is from here, right? Right. All his life he grew up here. Remember, I told you Cayocho. What was the name before? Back road. Back road. Yeah, back road. You see? But what happened? They to changed it. You know why? Bars. You know why we changed it? You know who changed it? The Seaman organization, the people. I was the president for, for a few years. You know why we changed it? Because every week they were taking away the life of somebody. They were yeah. killing someone. Cause, cause of the bars. There was bars on both sides. Yeah. yeah. So. Governor, uh, the alcalde that the, the, the alcalde was Ricky Merritt. His, his hotel is right over there. So we, at the, at the organization, we went to him. You got to do something, and what he did was close the bar them down. 
Oh, okay. He closed them. He closed the bar them down, and and that that stopped the 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 bar. And then they changed the name to Kai Ocho. Kai Ocho. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 you know why the name is the Kai Ocho? Because of H Street in Miami, Florida. Yeah. I told you, right? Yeah, right. So yeah. And like I said, if you speak to the elders, they know where that's back road. Why? Because this is the main road right here. And if you walk into back road right now, it's in the back of this street. Yeah. So that's why they call it back road. Right. And then there was so much uh, murders happening. Right. They named so, it. Don't go to back road, stay right. in main road. No, but right now it's definitely. No, it's good. Yeah. 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 Everything is definitely. Yeah. We're speaking maybe early 90s now. That's okay. when it was really dangerous. You know? uh, yeah. Definitely it's different now. Really different. All right. And like I said, it's not much people that know it as back road. Some okay. people, when you say back road, they don't know yeah. what are you talking about, which place you're talking about. Uh, it's only the native people that really knows it as, yeah. as back road. Right, right. You, you tell a taxi, he might know, depending on how he is. Actually, not, not, a, not the cab drivers because you got a lot of Spanish cab drivers now. You gotta say Calle Ocho. Yeah, they call it Calle Ocho. So this is the hospital right here, right? One of the first hospitals right here. Wood Medical Center. How many hospitals do you have on the island? We have three. The public hospital, which is the biggest one. And these are like the private ones. Right? Okay. This spot over here, where the coconut tree is at. Right. That's where the ferry was before. Okay. The ferry was not way over there. It was here before. It was stopped there? Yeah. It's now we got like fishing boats, cargo boats. Ah. After the, the ferry moved out, they made a cargo boat spot. Okay, okay. Just to spread the room around, so less right. too much traffic. Yeah, exactly. It's a small, small spot. Ah, so yeah, it makes the, sense. When the ferry arrived, it, it gets too crowded, and the traffic was crazy. Right, so right. They moved it out in an open area. And this is where it was before. Ah, yeah, I can see. There's a little shack there where you buy your ticket. And people come in and leave yeah, in, it's it. too much people. And us, as kids, right. this is where we used to come and, and, and take a swim. Oh, okay, okay. This is where we used to come and take a swim. Like a little wood house okay. where you buy your ticket. And then they had the, the waiting area where you wait on the, on the ferry to arrive. I can see, that this probably, what's the shack right here? Exactly. Okay. Right here. So, us as kids, we used to come here and take a swim. So, like, one of the fun activities that we used to make up was like, I dare you to swim over there. Ah, uh, okay. So that's what we used to do, jump in here, swim to that key, and then swim back. Or that's swim normal. all the way to the big key. And that's now, normal. If you, if you swim all the way to the back, to the big key, you a legend. <laughs> okay. They used to respect you, because most of the kids, we were scared to go swim all the way over there. Oh, all right. So y'all would have stopped here. Exactly. <laughs> okay. I, I bet the cold commotion would be, oh, he, oh, he yeah. swam all the way over there. Oh, yeah. No, no, yeah, he didn't. Somebody made it all the way to the big key. They used to spread that all over the hood. <laughs> all over the hood. Like, <laughs> like yo, who did just swim all the way to the big key? <laughs> the guy is crazy and stuff like that, you know? Probably getting in trouble with their parents. Right, right yeah. yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> so, in the park area, right. when it, it used to rain, in the corner of the building, right. there was this big water, you know, just dropping. Right. So we used to run up there and take baths there. Right. And our parents used to whoop us for that. Everybody used to know each other. Right. So they'd be like, I just saw your son over there taking a bath under the rain. Oh, man. When your mom reached home, you're chilling home, you're quiet, you're trying to play, you know, like nothing happened, but she already knows what's up. Right. She already knows you were outside yeah. in the rain. For local islands right here. No. Right here. Right here, good yeah. local Miss island. Carlos. Miss Carla's restaurant. Miss? Miss Carla's. Miss so Carla's see, restaurant. They got like lemon pie cheesecake. All right, let's check it out. So they got flang here, yeah. cuatro leches, tres leches. Lime pie, cheesecake. Also, oh, a lot of uh, pastries here you yeah, can get. Yeah. And this her is name is? Pay. Miss Carla. Miss Carla. Yeah. All right. Uh, oh, this is the local island food. Good, good food right here. Guys, if I didn't go in, my bad, I am full. So I'm done with food today. Remember that this is the main, main street. Right. We're gonna turn into Calle Ocho. Right. And we're gonna end up right where we left the car. Oh, okay. Because all streets lead to the same spot. Okay, this is a circle. Saying. Okay. Yeah, you can see an alley. You go on that alley, you're going to end up on the same main road, main street. All right. So all streets connect. Nice. So this area over here, 
It's called Palos Altos, which is high trees. Uh, okay. And you call it that because it's a high, high hill area? Or? Yeah, some higher trees, like the coconut trees. Right. So, Spanish people used to say, Llevame a los palos altos. Okay. Where the high trees at. Mm. So, that's why, that's why the boss man was telling us that yeah. we lost our language. They lost their language, which is English. Right, right, right. So, so much influence from Spanish people coming over that most of the names started, you know, being called in Spanish. And it's been like that forever now. Got it. Because we got a lot of Spanish people living here now. Right. I'm a clear example of one. <laughs> My mother is, is one of the first Spanish ladies to come over here. Right. On the mainland. She came in 1992. Like, how often was it like a thing when it comes to tourism on this island? How long so, that was? That was like early 2000s when okay. tourism started because before what people used to live off here was fishing fishing and construction okay so the best best carpenters were on the island they used to take them to caymans and work as carpenters right right so this right now we're now entering coyote this is coyote right here So I moved here in 2004. That's why I always say that Coyote is my hood. This but this is the first neighborhood you moved into? No, this was the last neighborhood I moved to in okay. before moving out to where I'm at now. Okay. But I was here from 2004 to 2019. 2019. Okay. Nice. So everybody saw me here grow up. Everybody knows me here. This is the house that we used to rent before. The gray house over there. Wow. That's where I grew up. Used to pay $400 a month, my mother. Used to pay $400 a month. This area over here is El Swampo, which is Spanish for the pond. Why the pond? Because it was all pond before. It, was it used not, to be a pond. Yeah, it was not a street. Uh, so it used to be a water area here. It was a water area. People used to walk on bridges here. Okay. People used to walk on bridges here. It was all bridges all over. And that's why most of the house, high houses also. Ah, okay. So that's the limit right there, three floor. Remember I told you we cannot right. build over three floors? All right. That's the limit right there. Uh, I got some empanadas there. Yeah, that's, those are the pastelitos. The pastelitos. Yeah, some type of patty, some type of patty. So all the fun right here. Pastelitos. Feels like a downtown area, you know, still yeah. people selling stuff or, you know. Oh, this is like we got a, a welding welders here. here. Yeah, they do like gates and stuff like that. So definitely, this was one of the most dangerous spots before in the 90s. Right. A lot of bars, also just as Cayocho side. Right. So a lot of people dying, you know, getting killed over beer, over any argument. They start whatever argument and up killing each other. You will only see concrete on this area here, but if you go in deeper. Right. It's puns. It's muddy. Gotcha. Yeah, it's muddy. Like one area over there, it's, it's like bridges still in the back. Okay, okay. But this, this area... one here, because this is like a main street, they paved it. And they, they put concrete here. Does it still flood over here? Still. Whenever it rains, like, maybe an hour straight without stopping, it floods. Definitely, oh. this whole area here floods. Cars cannot pass. Motorbike cannot pass. So this is. And then you got more. Over here. Okay, wait, wait, wait. This area over here is called El Hoyo, mm. which is the hole. This is the, the Oyo? center. Yeah, Hoyo. Hole. Okay. Which is hole. This is the center of the pond. Okay, all yeah. that area. That's where a lot more so of holding and housing is. Yeah, and you don't have to live in wood houses and traditional houses. Right. So you can see. And you got still like the sewage right here is like oh, a bridge. Oh, yeah, I see. I see. see it, yeah. It's like a bridge. The street is a bridge. Right, right, It's a right. box. Right. So we got black water running through now. Right, right, right. Definitely. And we got the local ladies selling cashew seeds. We got some fried chicken over here. Oh, yeah, fried chicken spot, tortilla. You know, corn tortilla spot? We got some um, tortilla. 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 And uh, fried chicken. Some KFC. Right. <laughs> They're making the tortilla right there. All right. Okay. And so before, it was all made by hand. Right. Now they got machines, you know. Uh huh. 
make it a lot easier. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching this video. If this is your first video, try to watch all the other episodes and catch up so you don't miss what's happening next. I guarantee you, it's going to be crazy. Yo.